Carol Water Sports here with uh, Luis Angel Feliciano. Uh, pro debut, man, uh, tomorrow, uh, LA, LA Fight Club, Golden Boy. Tell us, man, what, what are the nerves going through your mind right now? What's going on? Uh, you know, I, I, I feel great. Uh, we've had a great preparation in camp. Um, everything's gone well. You know, it's just kind of like the waiting process right now. It's just going through, you know, paperwork and weigh-ins and stuff. So, you know, we're confident. Obviously, you know, pro debut, it's going to be a little different. You know, my nerves might be kicking in. But other than that, you know, we have a game plan. Uh, we know who our opponent is. And, um, and yeah, we're just ready. We're just ready. And I'm very, very excited. I got my family here. I got many friends making the trip from Milwaukee and from other parts. So uh, I'm just excited to put on the show. What's it like? Because recently the amateur game changed where before obviously it was headgear and the gloves and it was more kind of the five judges and the you know three of them had to, right. you know, the kind of weird system. And now it became a little more pro style. Yeah, so does that make it kind of going into your pro debut, like maybe a little less kind of nerve wracking as far as why well, I know what it's like to get hit without headgear. You know what I mean? Exactly. Exactly. I've had uh, I've been fighting without headgear in the amateurs for several years. You know, I'd say, yeah, probably three years. You know, so three, almost four years. So, uh, you know, I kind of understand a little bit. It's not like, oh, you know, taking out the headgear and going straight into the pros. You know, it is very, uh, I should say, a little bit more similar. Obviously, the gloves is probably uh, it's going to be the difference because it's uh, eight ounce. Uh, we fought with 10 ounces, but the gloves, it's kind of like a bubble, They're kind of amateur gloves. They have like a little bubble, while this one, you kind of got to, you could squeeze in and dig in, you know, and, you know, so yeah, you could actually feel your knuckles. So that's probably going to be the only difference, really. Uh, but uh, still, I haven't fought competitively in over a year since the Olympic trials in December of 2015. So it's been a while. So I know, you know, it's going to be, you know, kind of getting back in that adrenaline rush tomorrow. But uh, like I said, we're ready. We're confident. And uh, yeah, we're going to give it everything we have. T tell us, walk us through what that the day that you got the phone call from Golden Boy. Hey. You know, come through. We want you to sign you. What, what were those emotions like going through your head? Oh, it was an amazing moment. That uh, you know, it's just uh, it was a long process as far as uh, you know uh, the negotiations because we had other companies that were interested as, as well, and you kind of want to go you know with the with the best route, what you think is going to be best for your career as far as the platform and obviously what's best for you. Uh, man, uh, it was it was just an amazing moment, you know. Just mo I was so happy to tell my parents, hey, you know, this is gonna be the move. This is what we're gonna do, and they were so excited. And obviously, all my friends, all the support I got back home, and um, it was just it's you know it's almost speech. I, it leaves me speechless because uh, I've been dreaming about this moment since I was a little kid, turning professional and signing under uh, you know Golden Boy Promotions. It's you know one of the best and biggest. Uh, promotional companies in the world, right. you know. Um, so uh, I'm very excited, very excited. You're fighting at Belasco Theater. You've you've been to fights there before, yes. right? Yeah. T tell us. Actually, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't. I haven't. It's gonna be our first time at the oh, Velasco because okay. I always confuse the Fantasy Springs with Velasco, but oh, okay, it's kind of right, far. Right. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's it's similar though okay. because it's it's well, Fantasy Springs definitely is a little wider. Okay. I will say the difference with Belasco is like e everyone's like. Yes. Compact, like Sorry. right on top of you. Yeah, yeah. So it, it it'll be a good like intimate uh, uh, arena for your first time too, man. I just uh, I, I just saw the the girl walking around asking uh, people who what music they're gonna have, man. And I love the song you picked. T tell the fans the, the song you picked and why. Yeah, it's gonna be a uh, hundred percent by uh, Big Pun and uh, featuring Tony Sunshine. And I just you know uh, obviously represent my Puerto Rican roots. Uh, it means a lot to me, and. Um, and that's basically what it is, you know, show the people that, you know, I'm fine, you know, uh, El Orgullo Boricua, you know, I'm, 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 I'm going to be representing PR and the Puerto Rican people and, and all, the, all the Latinos in general. But that's why I specifically picked that song. Uh, it, I think it's a great song. It's, you know, and it's, I'm excited. I'm excited. I think it's definitely going to be a, a, a song that's going to pump me up right before I get it, walk into that ring and, and you know, just know that, hey, this is, this is what you're doing it for. So, uh, yeah, I definitely, uh, definitely had to come out with that song for my first professional fight. I, when I heard it, man, I love it because it's, it, it, like you said, it pumps you up. No matter what you're doing, you're just like, woo, like I'm ready to go. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You talk about, you said you're Puerto Rican. Right now, you know, obviously Miguel Cotto's still around, but, you know, he's kind of on his way out. He's already kind of talked about it. Um, Jose Pedraza just lost to, to, to um, Davis. 
you know, there really isn't like a whole lot of names. Our Verdejo is kind of a name that, that's mm-hmm. obviously kind of a prospect in there, but you know, it seems kind of wide open right now for, for someone such as yourself to kind of take that mantle and kind of like take take that, uh, you know, the head of Puerto Rican boxing right now. Would you agree with that? Yeah, definitely. I agree with you. Um, uh, yeah, we've kind of been in a little drought. And, you know, Puerto Rico is an island that's produced so many world champions. It's almost unbelievable. You know, it's a small little island making so many uh, world champions with Fedor Gomez, Tito Reynida, uh, Chapo Rosario, uh, you know, Hector Camacho, you know, so many, so many names, you know, and, uh, and it would just be an honor to, you know, have my name mentioned there. That's what I think of, you know, down the line in the future, just being considered one of those names, you know, that, that represented the island, that represented the people. Um, and that's why I do it for, and, you know, and, and it would, like I said, it'd be an honor. And, uh, you know, right now, obviously it's a little, it's a bit of a struggle. Uh, we're you know lacking some world champions, right. yeah. but you know uh, you know hopefully uh, this will be the start right. of you know of something great and we'll you know it'll, like I said it'll be an honor adding my name to to uh, the world champions of of PR so uh, I'm I'm definitely excited and that's what I'm going to be fighting for. You're, are you fighting on the the Ring TV portion of it? Or are you fighting on and the Estrella TV? And the Estrella yes, TV. The first fight. That's awesome. How, how, what's that like? Do your yes. pro debut on TV right right off the bat? That's another great thing, you know, just going in and, you know, everyone wants their pro debut televised and, you know, kind of having the spotlight, you know, and I know it's uh, it's some pressure, you know, I know because uh, there's going to be a lot of people watching me and, uh, you know, it, it, uh, but again, it's a bigger opportunity, you know, because uh, you kind of obviously you have the people that are going to be watching you and then, you know, the Golden Boy people they never see me fight, you know. Yeah, you know what I've done in amateurs. I had a had a great uh, amateur background, but now it's time time to show what we got in the professionals. And you know, it'd be great to you know have a spectacular performance, my first fight on you know on TV and and you know and and uh, showcase my <laughs> skills to the world. So that's what it's about. Oh man, I, I cannot wait. Tune in, uh, Azteca TV, 7 p.m. Right? Estrella TV. Estrella TV. I'm sorry, Estrella, Estrella TV, 7 p.m. And also on TV Live. Yeah. All right, brother. Thanks so much for the time. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Appreciate All right, it. man. Thanks.